What is going on everybody? My name is Agent Active or Active for short and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to talk about the Gears 5 Operation 4 uh, update slash patch. We have now received the fourth operation of Gears 5. The game is now about 11 months old at the time of this video. This update is the one that made this game more enjoyable in my opinion. The store is actually something to look out now. The old anti-consumer microtransactions are mostly done away with and have been replaced by a currency you actually earn by playing the game. So you can now grind out multiplayer and buy something you want instead of using real life money and having no skill to achieve it. I'm very happy with this change as I can finally get some of the skins and executions I missed out on in the previous operations. Speaking of skins, Operation 4 has 6 new skins. Well, 3 of them have been in the game since launch but they are now playable. Those being Paddock, the Gen Bot, and the UIR character. The best skin in this bunch is Karn. I don't remember anything about Gears of War Judgment, but man, the Karn skin is so dope looking. Also, the Locust Grenadier is jacked. Man's been lifting weights. The three maps in this operation are decent. Reactor is a different kind of map that has a good rotation pattern. I haven't had much playtime on it, so it's hard for me to give a full review on that map. However, the other ones are freaking remakes. Uh, that being Blood Drive and Checkout. I've always loved Checkout because Gears of War 3 was my first game and I was awesome on that map. However, lately I have grown to hate the map Blood Drive as I've played it so many times between Gears 4 and 5. Like, everyone just auto-updates it. I don't know if people just like playing maps they already know or if this one's really good for people, but for me, I'm really starting to hate Blood Drive, especially in King of the Hill. Let's talk about the biggest change in this update, Ranked Play. Ranked is now decided about how many Gears points you have instead of some random-ass number that goes up or down depending on how well of a game you had. As somebody who loves sweaty ranked gears matches, I'm glad you can see your rank skill in real time during the games. The rank system is cleverly designed with a points cap because the cap prevents teams from intentionally losing rounds to farm out more kills and get more gears points and have their um their skill inflated because of this. Another thing the gears points do is reward players who try their hardest and actually win games. When I first wrote down this uh, script here, I was bronze, but now I'm silver. And once you're silver and above, there's an entry fee to every match, and if you don't pass that fee, you will drop in rank, which I think this is a great idea because if you do, because if you have a great game and lose, you don't get completely demoted, but once you get past gold, you will drop in rank if you don't win the game. I've rambled on about ranked long enough, so let's talk about some of these changes in multiplayer. Matchmaking has changed in a few ways. Team Deathmatch, Escalation, and Guardian are no longer in ranked play and have been put in quick play except Escalation. Escalation has now joined Dodgeball and Warzone as being an unplayable mode of multiplayer that's not like a special event or anything. I love how Gridiron is now the premier mode in ranked instead of Escalation, because Escalation 2.0 wasn't all that fun if you solo queued, and in my opinion, Escalation 2 is not as great as the first one as I've said in other videos. Normally I wouldn't mention the PvE changes as I don't play it that often, but I'm glad to see that the Horde restrictions have been removed. Any class can now buy anything and upgrade it. Kind of like Horde from Gears of War 4. Maybe you shouldn't have changed it. Just a thought. Now Operation 4 has added more achievements. These achievements are absolutely incredibly grindy. Just a few that stick out are Absolute Carnage. 100 million versus damage. I think that's a lot of versus and nothing but bits. 100,000 kills. Now, if you've been playing Gears of War for a while, you will know that 100,000 kills is nothing new. Nothing but bits is basically seriously 2.0, but multiplayer only. So you gotta get 100,000 kills and versus instead of across the whole game. So... I can imagine seeing people grouping up in co-op versus AI and just grinding bots for this kills, or you could just get good. <laughs> uh, that's all I got for this video. If you liked it, uh, let me know. Let me know your thoughts about this update in Gears of War 4. I think it's in the right track. However, though, I feel kind of bad praising some of the things in this update because it should have been that way when the game came out. This has been Agent Active, and we'll see you in the next one.